All right, so we got to talk about this more stuff again. I know, I know, I thought it was done and over with as well, but apparently we got a quote from one of the people behind the creative process of the show addressing the issues with Morph, the woke accusations and all this other dumb stuff that's been going on. So we're going to look at this quote. We're going to talk about it. I just want to put this out there. The quote might be a little bit offensive to some people. So I want to talk about it in detail. And then you're going to go in the comments and let me know if it's offensive to you or not. I'd also like to hear from some of the non-binary viewers um, who watch my channel on what you think about this quote. Cause I have a feeling some people are going to have vastly different takes on this and I don't want to step on any toes. So let's look at this quote and, uh, just figure out what it all very briefly though, uh, a little history on why the X-Men 97 cartoon is apparently woke because of morph is because in an interview from last year, sometime one interview, as far as I can find, uh, they talked about morph being uh, non-binary, which confused a lot of people because the show takes place in 1997 and uh, non-binary in terms of language wasn't used as commonly until a few years ago. So they were trying to wonder like how, you know, how does non-binary apply to a character from 1997? And then there's of course the people that went crazy and were like, oh, it's going to be woke ideology and blah, 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 all this other stuff, literally without knowing anything about how it was going to be addressed in the show, which I thought was kind of weird. So let's look at the quote from the people behind the creative process of this show. So in an interview with Variety, both Larry Houston and Julia LaWald spoke out against the woke accusations facing X-Men 97. Houston's comments focus largely on how he perceives Morph as a character, stating that in terms of the show, the term equates to Morph's superpower. So right away, it's not about like gender identity specifically, it's about Morph's powers which that's kind of what I thought it was going to be from the beginning. I thought this is the what direction that we're going to go with it. Um, however, the actual statement here is where I think some people might be offended by this, but I do think it clears up some of the confusion. For me, the word non-binary is the same as the word shapeshifter. Every character that can change from one gender to another, from human to animal, that's just another word for shapeshifter for me. Now, I don't know anything about Larry or Julia, like they're like anything about their private lives. Um, I've only ever seen their quotes and their stuff in interviews. So I probably should do a deep dive into their, uh, you know, to them. But here I can see why some people who are non-binary may be offended by this quote, because saying that non-binary is the same as shapeshifter may come off a little bit derogatory towards non-binary people. I get it. I understand we're on the same page there. Um, however, what I think they're trying to say here is that for, in their opinion, shapeshifters would all be non-binary. Not that every non-binary person would be a shapeshifter in this fictional scenario. And then every character that can change from one gender to another or from human to animal, that's just another word of shapeshifter for me. So I could see why someone who is non-binary would go that seems kind of offensive to, to say. Um, this is what happens sometimes when you have people involved in the creative process who are doing uh, cultural and social things is they may not always nail it or get it right. I'm not making excuses for them. If, if this is something that bothers you, you have every right to be like upset about it, to say that's annoying. Um, however, I think in terms of the show being woke, this does explain to me, at least in some ways, um, how I think the non-binary thing has been blown out of proportion. And the reason why is because if they believe that non-binary and shapeshifter are the same, and it's not about gender, it's about powers, that tells me that we're probably not going to get some deep, you know, uh, multi-layered you know, uh, intricate story about Morph's non-binary status, which is unfortunately what I believed it was going to be from the beginning. I mean, I didn't think it was connected necessarily to Morph's superpowers, but I did believe that we would get a very surface level sort of um, storyline when it comes to gender identity in connection with Morph. So this is where it gets a little weird. Like I, I don't, I don't, find it offensive, but I'm not non-binary. So maybe, maybe for me, that's, that's a, that's something that I would have to sort of unpack for people who are non-binary, which is why I would love for anyone in the comment section who is NB. Um, let me know what, how you feel about this and, and if it bothers you or if you appreciate how they're using non-binary in the show.
because I'm a little bit like, uh, I don't know, shapeshifter, non-binary being the same thing. I mean, it feels a little reductive uh, in the sense of like, we're, we're like taking things that are very nuanced and we're like, you know, reducing it down to something very simple. Um, again, I don't know Larry or Julia. Um, maybe they are non-binary. Maybe they, maybe they know someone who is non-binary. I, I don't know. I don't know. So I'm not assuming anything about them creatively other than the fact that maybe they weren't thinking too much when they decided to do this, because it does feel a little like, I don't know, a little pandery to the people that were complaining. Like maybe they were sitting down and going, ah, these people are talking trash about our show. So we need to go into a little damage control. But I mean, that might possibly be what the issue is. I'm not totally sure. However, I would love to know what your thoughts and opinions are about this. So uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel and leave a like and leave a comment to engage with the content here. Uh, as a smaller channel, it does help me when I get uh, engagement from everybody. It helps me fight back against this algorithm issue we have with all of the anti-fandom channels. So if you could do that, that would be great. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.